Three games to run here in Brazil. Next up, it is the plate final between Fiji and France. And overall, it is the French who lead the Fijians in the series. And this is how both sides line up. Both teams showing glimpses across the weekend, I'm sure Maloney. Joined in commentary by ex-England superstar Sue Day. And Sue, who are we keeping an eye on in this one? Well, for Fiji, Tanai has been outstanding at times and less than outstanding at other times with her offloads. If she can sort that out, it was mostly on the first day, but today, outstanding. Rongitha, always at the heart of everything they do. For France, Shannon Izar had a really strong first day, and Jade Lepesque has really come to the fore. She sure tournament. has. Lepesque has been a nightmare in and around the breakdown for opposing teams. Onto the field they come, the French and the Fijians, and the Fijians, well, they're wearing their black armbands, but we'll get to that in a second as we have a look at how they made their way through to the plate final. Strong winners over Brazil, and they ran into a red-hot Canadian team earlier today, and there are the Fijians stunning England, it must be said, in that match a little earlier today as well. Our referee for this one is Rose Labreche out of Canada. Yes, the Fijian women's side wearing the black armbands is a mark of respect and just sending their love all the way back to Fiji after the beautiful Pacific Island nation was ravaged by Cyclone Winston. Tragic loss of life there and several people still missing. So the Fijiana team looking to try and raise spirits back in their homeland as France kick off and it's taken nicely. Good early run of passes and just having a little look up at what was to come. There was Tamoy. Yeah, it's that situation where you've forgotten to catch the ball before you look to about what you're going to do next. Handing the ball back to France. feed and now they clear to La Pesque. Against the traffic of that, a big set of sit down there from, I think it was Nungasau who made the shot and they win the penalty as well. Yeah, yeah lovely hit, wasn't it? France just ran themselves into trouble a little bit. D went one way, came back the other, but weren't deep enough to support each other. Here is Nangasau. Oh, she was looking for the runner off the hip and nobody was up to the player. They didn't get the memo. So France with a chance now to open up via Garin. Garin, that is great work from Lena Garin and France have the opening try in the plate final. Yeah, really good finish from Lena Garin. Possibly slightly fortunate. The pass looked like it drifted forward, but either way, you can't argue with the finishing power of Garin. There just evades the last tackle of Nangasau. But it was the it was the offload, I think, from Nangasau that, that gave France the chance in the first place. Fiji, when they've been good this weekend, it's when they've offloaded with precision at the right time when they've been poor when they've let the opposition in it's because they've they've been offloads that really weren't on and it just gifts the ball straight back to the opposition the pass knocks through the extras and france are up seven nil biscarat with the restart goes a little deeper this time around and it's caught Nangato out of position, she couldn't bring it in and they're going to hop straight back on attack. France are. Too many errors from, from Fiji at the moment, giving France opportunity after opportunity. Pauline Biscara there, she's been such an important player for France in, in recent times. This tournament, coming back from injury, hasn't quite come into her own, but we just expect to see her get better and better as the series goes on. Pressure at the back and the footwork comes 
So two does a pace for Biscuit. The offload is fantastic. France are getting it done early and going in once more to wrap up a sweet try. Lina Garin. Really well worked from France, wasn't it? It wasn't good ball from the back of the scrum, although when is it ever? Biscarat just manages to pop it up into the hands of Lepesque. Eventually it gets as far as Fanny Hall to the captain. A nice little bit of footwork then. The final pass to Garin. She's one of those players trying to force her way into the 12 for Rio and she's doing a pretty good job of that right now. Conversion attempt on its way, but it's away to the right. The boot of is up and that'll leave the score looking like that. 12 points in France's favour over Fiji. And as Shannon Izar was taking the kick, Garan snuck off and Ladanu came on. It's with rolling subs these days, you can afford to give a player who's done all that running a couple of minutes rest. That's better from Nangato. She gets a grip on it that time around. BG, like their men's team, are happy to chance their arm um, from all over the park inside the 22. It does not matter. But they're going to need numbers there to retain possession, and they can't get them there. France steal, and now it will look to strike. Good rush defence coming on Mayans, who is... Danger, danger, danger for opposing teams. Lopez, that is terrific pass across the Horter. Picking it up again. Lopez. Hi here. Laranu. Iza. Iza pops the ball, but it's drifted forward. And Fiji get out of trouble on that occasion. Can only have been an inch or two forward, can't it? France are doing really well at the breakdown. It's what really made them made the difference between France and England earlier on. They're just brilliant at the breakdown, getting in there quickly before the opposition can get that second player in and stealing the ball. couple of subs here late on day two and the legs are feeling it searing heat on saturday here in south america in brazil sao paulo just down the road from rio which is set to light up in the first week of august this year suday bearing down on us so quickly so exciting. The first time Rugby Sevens has been in the Olympics, just a few months away now. What an amazing, amazing chance for these players. Oh, wrong Ether. <laughs> and popping beautifully. Now Rewai gets a touch, but again, the passes aren't just getting where they need to go. And that was Ravisa, the little whippet, who scored a sensational try against England this afternoon going without yeah Fiji just making it too hard for themselves at the moment they've a couple of games early the England game they, they really switched it on passes were going to hand the offloads going to hand at the moment that precision just isn't there not even close so this is our plate final followed by the third fourth playoff between the United States and New Zealand and then the big one Australia taking on Canada at 6.41 local time. That's going to be a screamer between those two teams. France come across to Laranu. Penalty advantage coming. Laranu will take it into contact and then pinch a couple of extra metres with some good lead drive. Penalty advantage being offered up here to France. What can they do just before half time? Laranu, long ball across to Lepes. It's a good bounce, it pops back to her and she darts to the outside and touches down. Great reward for this talented French woman. Yeah, the bouncing pass was all it needed. It was Jade Lepesque one on one with Lavinia Tinai. 
Sinai had no chance. Sadly, did well to get the pass out. The ball just had to get there somehow because the pest was in so much space and she has such a good step on it. Sinai had no chance at all. France really stringing some good sevens together. Fiji, unfortunately, right now making it really hard for themselves with all their errors. Kick slips to the right of the uprights, and at half time in the plate final, it is France ahead of Fiji. It's 17 0. If you want to follow some of the action from the weekend, jump on a social media and whip in that hashtag, Sao Paulo 7s, and you will be treated to some wonderful highlights. Plenty more to come in this one. Let's dial it into the French huddle. <laughs> So you speak fluent <laughs> French, come on, give us give us the goss. I knew you were gonna ask me that. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the excuse it was just a bit too quiet that food, couldn't quite hear what you were saying. Okay. You know what's cracking. <laughs> yeah, so as mentioned, jump on social media and pop that hashtag in, Sao Paulo 7s, Instagram and Twitter, and you are going to see some awesome action that's been served up out of Brazil with just the few games to come. Laranu. Laranu, driven back into a 22. Izar. Izar goes across the park. She needs someone to straighten up the attack for her and throws a tough one for Troncy to bring in. Izar had a really strong first day. It's not quite happened for her today. She looks disappointed with herself there. The, the, the pass should have been caught, but it wasn't a great pass. It did hold up Jennifer Troncy. But when she gets it right, Izar, she's such a strong runner. Strong defender too. Played a bit Five. of tap around the park Set. yesterday. A couple of attackers coming off second best, <laughs> thanks to the shoulders of Shannon Izar. Okay, Fiji, Rongitha, and now it goes to Ravisa. Ravisa is going to steer backwards and look to get inside the defence of Ladano. She does nicely in bringing her down. 40 out. A little sharp reload from Riwai, oh, but it's just not happening at the moment down, for Fiji. Wait for pink step, please. Blue pink step. We've got an yep, assistant yep, ref coming on you. to the park in a second. I have a I'm chat to Rose Labreche out of Canada. What have you seen? Okay, do you have a number? Okay, so your recommendation? Against white. Against oh, against blue. Okay. Okay. Guys, we have obstruction here. Okay. We're going to have a penalty against blue. Okay. It's here. Uh, Mariana, here. It's good. Yeah, I didn't see what happened there, but clear, clear instruction from the assistant referee. Penalty, Fiji. They've got to start capitalizing and rumbling it forward. There is Nangato. Nangasau, Nangasau, again the passes are missing the mark for Fiji. Mayans, Mayans slips in and then scoots towards the sideline, eventually brought down by Rovisa. Porter. Back. 
not happening for either team at the moment, is it? Error after error. France had a strong first half, but I guess 17 nil up. Less than five minutes to go. Maybe the concentration slip. Fiji certainly just haven't been on the mark all game. Been flashes of brilliance this tournament from Fiji, haven't there? But yeah, in that last start against England, they were outstanding. Wrong Ether trying to do it all herself, but that was not the play. Nobody else knew quite what Wrong Ether had in mind. Izar rips the pass back. Doing well to bring the, it in was Horta. Laranu. Laranu. And now Horta again. Getting a number of quality touches. Laranu. Izar. She shaped the attack. She can't. And Fiji make the tackle and then pounce on it via Tinai. Tinai taps and goes. Tinai pops up. Well, here we go. That's a little bit more like Fiji. And popping it down is Nangato. And this one's still very much alive if the kick is good. Yeah, much more like it from Fiji. Because it was the penalty, Fiji turned over the breakdown. The French defence was all over the place. All Fiji needed to do was move it out into the open space in the hands of Nangata. Then a quick tap. Then Ladanu has to commit. Lepesque has to commit, and there's nobody left to defend Nangato. Doesn't need asking twice. In under the posts. There's time, Sean. There's plenty of time. If there's any team in the world of sevens that can rip back points off the deficit quickly it's Fiji three minutes is an eternity the pest Laranu Porter bounce pass across to Mayans <laughs> that's great back and forth from the French the passes swift and on the money and here's Marjorie Mayans getting inside Nangasau. Nangatok came back and made the shot and Fiji make the turnover, win the penalty, and we're gonna go back. I'll need to go back quickly, Fiji. Now Fiji wanted to get the ball moving quickly then, didn't they? Fiji doing a really good job of, of disrupting France's attack. They France make half breaks with Fiji getting in the way of the pass. to be a touch forward and that is the call out of the hands of Tinai. Ravisa was gone. But the pass crept forward through the air and out of the hands. Come off. Wait, number 12. Oh, coming. So just another reminder that following this it'll be the United States and New Zealand going head to head in the third, fourth playoff. And then a little later this evening or this morning, depending on where you're watching on via your broadcast or around the world, Sky UK or Fox Sports in Australia, Sky Sports NZ, it'll be Australia and Canada in the big one. France looking to finish this one in style. Laranu. Laranu is cannoned into touch. She's crying out for a switch in play there. Fanny Horta running across the pitch. Laranu outside of the two defenders running with them, but no third defender on the inside shoulder of Fanny Horta. Laranu had she cut back inside. There was a sea of wide open space. As it was, Laranu just gets bundled into touch. As a winger, you've got to play with your head up, see where those defenders are, and if there's no third defender, they and that may be the final roll for Fiji. France will pack this one down and feed it. And they are set to scoop the plate in Sao Paulo.
looking out at the back is Biscarat. And Horta, the starter step. Great defence, though, in cover from Fiji. They let it through and then chopped it down and forced the error. Yeah, Horta was just trying to get the pass away, wasn't she? she couldn't get it. It's such a hallmark of the Fijian defence, isn't it? They just present that gap, and then when players think they're through, all of a sudden they've got two mitts around their waist, <laughs> and they have their face in the turf not long after that. <laughs> That's a lovely line from Tisolo. Fiji, can they give us something to put on the highlights reel to wrap up their time in Sao Paulo before they return for Rio in August? Three, two, the locals would love to see it across the park. They go. Nangato. Salto, we haven't seen a whole lot of Salto this weekend and they concede the penalty. Full time Hoot has gone France. Want something to remember as well. Maybe talk about later tonight or on the flight home. A special bit of play to end their time in South America. Porter. Porter is chopped down but pops beautifully. Some very, very tired legs out there as well. There might be six games down across the weekend. And in each of their final hitouts here in Brazil, it is France proving too strong for Fiji. The red, white, and blue are winners. 17 points to five. So there's a plate all wrapped up. Just the cup to come, Sude. And some encouraging signs there for...